We understand that nobody sets off on their life journey saying, hey, I want to go to rehab. Where we start with people when they come to Cornerstone is trying to help them feel safe and to feel comfortable here and to feel loved. When an addict or an alcoholic comes into treatment, they generally are feeling extreme loneliness. And so one of the great benefits of recovery in general is to find out that you're not alone and that you don't have to do this alone. Cornerstone Incorporated for business September 22nd, 1989. We started up with five levels of care right at the beginning because we wanted to be with people at the beginning when we detox them to a year to year and a half after treatment. We've got about a little under 25 acres on the campus. It's made up of four buildings. It's, it's sort of set up like a quad. We have a residential area and from there the patients will go either to their outpatient building or the inpatient building. The dining is incredible here. We contract with a group that specializes in fresh food and they make almost everything in-house. The fitness center was the second building put on the campus. It's about 15,000 square feet, beautiful facility, great gym in there. I am Sarah Smitty and I'm the Young Adult Program Coordinator at Cornerstone of Recovery. I think the young adult program here at Cornerstone is different than most other programs in that they're all kind of in the same stage in life and it gives them an opportunity to discover who they are. I'm Andre King and I am an extended care counselor in the intensive outpatient program here at Cornerstone of Recovery. To be honest, I think a lot of why the young adults program works is because you have people working there who went through it themselves. I think having people in recovery on staff here at Cornerstone really helps because it gives the addict seeking help some hope and something to look forward to. I've had patients actually tell me, you know, I like that the counselors here have been through recovery. I like that you've been through recovery. I like that you're able to share some of your experiences. Being in recovery myself, I think, helps relate to them and allow them to open up to me. When the Young Adult Program was created, I was probably part of the second group that came through as a patient myself. I probably wasn't the easiest patient to deal with. I was pretty angry and pretty um, nasty probably to them, um, but they were able to look past that and find the person inside of me that really wanted help. I was able to talk with them, open up to them, reach out to them and ask for help, which is something I'd really struggled doing. As an adolescent, that's one of the things I think that folks struggle with is saying, hey, I need help and reaching out and asking for that. Cornerstone is a great place to come and get sober, but it's also a great place to help teach you how to stay sober. We try to teach them to live in just for today. Just for today, I'm not gonna drink and I'm not gonna use drugs. And how can I be productive today? I get asked all the time, how do you work with 18 to 25 year olds? I think the staff here is really good at looking past all the outward defenses and reaching in and trying to help that person grow more and shine through more.